guys, it's Tanya with Karma's a Stitch. Um, I just thought I would come on and do a quick little intro to my Vlogmas, um, which I will be doing this year. Um, I wanted to talk about some of the advents that I got. I am still waiting on one. Um, I'll try to have a little clip of that one when it gets here. It's not supposed to be here until Tuesday which is November 30th. So I'm really crossing my fingers, hoping it gets here in time. Um, I'm going to do a little admin stuff because I will only do that for this one um, intro video. I'm not going to do it again for any of my Vlogmas videos. So you can reach me um, on Ravelry as 76Karma. I am on Instagram as Karma's A Stitch. And you can also email me, and that would be Tanya at karmasastitch.com. Um, I think that's it. I do have a Facebook page. I'm not super active on it. This year, I did go a little nutso with the Advents, but I knew I was going to, so I started early in the year. I, I was planning very early on this year. Um, I wanted the full experience with Advents. <laughs> um, so I did not hold back. I started, um, and I'm so sorry with my voice. Um, I'm recording this Sunday night. I've been sick all week. I am feeling so much better today. I, I sound a lot worse than I feel. Um, but I did want to get this intro recorded because then I want to set up my Advent display um, so that I'm all set up and it's gonna be a seamless transition whenever we get to start those videos and opening up packages. <laughs> so I wanted to make sure that I really took the time to explain each of the advents that I did end up getting this year. Um, there are four of them that I have here today, and one of them will be here, um, really hoping Tuesday. The one I'm waiting on is for Alex. I did wanna get something for her to participate um, I really love doing crafty stuff with her. She's not, um, quite patient enough, I guess, just yet with the knitting needles. She does have needles and yarn, but I did get something special for her. So we will talk about that when it comes. Um, so let's just go ahead and get started. This first one that I'm going to talk about was a seller, a, a shop I found on Etsy. It's called, and I'm gonna look off to my notes because I did take notes, so I wanted to make sure I covered them. Um, it's Pearl Stitch and Witch on Etsy, all one word. Um, and this is a stitch marker advent. Um, inside, it was a great holiday themed packaging that came postal service. Inside, there's a card, it says to open it first. Um, I have opened it. Really, I mean, handwritten card, you guys. And it's those little touches that it's just like, I love this community and people that they put their heart and soul into their small businesses and it feels so great to be able to support them. So I, it's got a handmade card, which is wonderful. Um, this was a stitch marker advent. You could choose between 25 and 12 days. You could choose the lobster clasp, the lace, the lace, um, um, the lace top, and a uh, bulb top. Yep, lace top, lobs lobster clasp, and bulb top options were available. As of tonight, she did have some still available. So if this is something you think you might be interested, I did. You'll, you'll just have a few you have to catch up on because I ordered this on October 13th and I'm not kidding, I had it within days. I mean, it was postmarked the 14th of October. So she shipped this out the very next day. Um, inside, you have the option um, of requesting the string and the hooks and stuff because I am going to display this. Okay, so 
I should have thought that through a little bit more because now I have a lap full. So she included some twine and the clips so I can hang each one of these little numbered envelopes. Okay, with something inside. It's a stitch marker, it's gonna be wonderful. Um, some of them are a little thicker than others. So this is something I'm really excited about. I mean, you guys, until this year, I never thought about an advent calendar being anything more than a piece of cardboard that you got in the grocery store that had little pieces of chocolate that we would fight over as kids. <laughs> so I will get this one hung up and ready to display. Um, let me see if that's any, if I missed anything. Nope. Put my card back in there. Now, this is not a review, okay? I really, these are just things that have come to mean something to me. The personal card was an amazing touch, okay? I loved that. It was handwritten. I love that. Um, so, this next, this next, um, advent I got is a fiber advent and it was shipped in this bag it was from cornbread and honey on Etsy um, and they I ordered this earlier in the year and it got here in plenty of time inside um, was a copy of my invoice um, and with a little sticker with just saying, hey, I made a small little mistake. This one that's numbered this is actually this. So I appreciate that she actually took the time to let me know that. Um, I got a project bag. There is something inside, but I'm not gonna open that just yet. I don't know what it is. I could keep trying to hold it up to the light and get a better look, but I'm not going to. Um, this one was titled Finding Peace, okay? And the when I was on Etsy and I was looking for an advent calendar, um, I came across the inspirational picture, the picture that was on the, the, the post for this listing on Etsy in the Cornbread and Honey website. And this was the most expensive advent that I purchased this year. I mean, there's no way around that. However, the picture that was on this post when it's, and it's titled Finding Peace, um, I just, I really have some high expectations because I think it's gonna be stunning if she based it off of that inspirational that, that photo, if that's what she based her coloring, her, her dyeing on for this advent, it's not going to be anything short of stunning. Um, so I got this project bag and each package, okay, is wrapped like this. I've got my larger one. Do not open until Christmas. Um, so yes, I, with this one, um, it was out of stock. I, I did look all these up again tonight. It was out of stock. Um, she, you could choose between 25 or 20 pack, 25 or 20, 25 or 12 packages, um, depending on how you wanted to celebrate this advent. And I believe you could choose between fingering or DK. The choice between 10 and 20 grams, I believe, was an option. And um, if you wanted a full skein or a mini for Christmas, I believe was another option. Please don't quote me on that. But I think those were the choices that I had to make with this one. Um, the pattern that I'm planning on doing with this is called um, the Norse, 
the Northeasterly by Skananigans. I'll put it on, I'll put it on the screen. Um, so yeah, let me go through here. I will put a picture up of the photo that was on the listing because the, the listing is still up. It does say it, that it's sold out. Um, so I, I'm super excited about this. I will put a picture of the pattern that I'm planning on doing. And I will say that I would really love to think that I could keep up with this. I can't promise because I do have a little bit of Christmas knitting left. Um, but I would really like to think that I could, I could knit a mini in a day. However, I have more than one that I'm wanting to do. So we'll see, no promises, but you will see my progress. This is, I'm, the patterns that I've chosen, I believe are gonna be pretty straightforward. Um, so yeah, we'll see how it goes. This next one that I purchased, okay, this was when I, when I, when we first originally came to Idaho, um, I am, I love supporting local. I love supporting small businesses. Um, it's important to me to support small and I mean, woman owned. I mean, I think that's important to me as well, but that's me. <laughs> um, I absolutely am not against buying from men if they've got a nice product. <laughs> so, I mean, I I definitely searched out when we got here um, an indie dyer in Idaho and on Etsy, this was the very first one that I came to. This was the very first shop I came to. I have never met this woman. I have messaged her a little bit in the past. Um, so, yes, um, in this package is a card. And this advent was titled Coastal Christmas. Okay. So, I mean, what do you expect if something's titled Coastal? Um, it is a lovely, I mean, it's, the, the colors in this box are inspired, but muted ocean tones. And the idea of celebrating Christmas on the beach. Starting December 1st, you will open box one and open one box a day through Christmas. Watch out for little extras along the way. Each box is labeled with the colorway name. So with this one, I will need to keep the colors in their box until I've used it so I can remember. Um, I have also included a care tag in the first box with information about the yarn, yardage, and care instructions. Okay, so this was sticking out of box number one. Um, and it's saying it's a fingering 20 gram, about 86 yards, approximately 2,150 yards total. Um, and it's 70% superwash merino and 30% nylon. So what a fantastic, I mean, and then I'll show you, I'm gonna put the card away. Um, she does go on to say that she did not include a pattern due to the wide variety of yarn and yardage options that she offered in her shop because she also had the same options, DK or fingering, um, 10 or 20 grams. Did you want 25 or 12? Did you want a mini on 20 the Christmas day or did you want a full skein? So I guess it would be hard, right? I mean, it would be difficult to put, um, it would be difficult to put a pattern together for an advent um, unless you don't offer those options and you're like, this is what I've got. This is a beautiful pattern and you're able to do that. And that's wonderful. Um, but that's not what this particular dyer has done. She said, however, searching for scrappy patterns returns a lot of great inexpensive and free patterns on Ravelry or other various blogs and sites. And sites. I hope you enjoy your calendar. Have a very Merry Christmas. And she signed it. I mean, it's nice to get a card. I mean, just to take the extra time. Um, I This is what the boxes look like. 
that and that's the little care instruction that was slipped inside so I knew right where it was. And they're all numbered. I've got, um, you know, and if you look at these stickers, I don't know if you can see it. This one has a little seahorse on it. Um, see if I can get another one out. Number two has a shell. I mean, it's just those little, pay attention to detail, you know? And I'm assuming this is number 25, maybe, maybe not. I'm really unsure. It doesn't have a name on it. Maybe it's just an extra little goodie. <laughs> Wouldn't that be lovely? So this, let's see, um, Coastal Christmas. Um, this one I will not be knitting with. I have a pattern in mind that I want to design out of minis. And because of the coastal theme, I didn't know which direction she was going to go with it. I'm so excited because I'm picturing a lot of blues, which is my favorite color. Um, there's really not a shade of blue that I don't love. Um, so... Yes, this one is going to be saved for a pattern that I'm hoping to start working on after the first of the year. Um, but I will be opening this through the month of December on my Vlogmas. Okay. And last but not least, and I'm going to say this. Okay, so this last advent that I got... Sorry if I got so close. You can see my lovely shiny silvery hair. Um, this is one that I got from um, a woman in our local knitting group. Um, she was one of the coordinators for our Yarny Camp retreat this last year. Um, if you guys have watched my YouTube channel, you'll know I had an amazing time at that. So her yarn is something that I have purchased, I have talked about, um, and her shop name on Etsy, on everything, <laughs> um, is Inner Yarn Zen. And I'll put that on the screen. And so she, she offered two different advents this year. And they were, um, the color theme was outlander inspired so if you're a huge outlander fan you'll have an idea of what those colors are going to be or downton abbey those were the two insp inspirations behind her advent calendars i chose the outlander themed um advent calendar and i don't want to share too much but this woman um sustained a pretty serious injury recently like in the midst of dying her advent I mean and it was a big deal and she's not able to knit right now and I don't want to share a whole lot because it is her personal medical stuff but this is her business right I mean and of course I was going to be nothing but understanding um if it was going to if Holy smokes, how are you going to dye yarn and how are you going to skein it up and hang it to dry and label it and put all of this into, she did it. I have it in time and she did it with the help of this amazing fiber community. I mean, the friends that she has developed in this community she had a couple of them pull together and came and they got to hang out and they got to work together and they helped her get and reach her goals and her deadlines for her clients because she, she was going to get it done and she did. Um, so I am just so ecstatic <laughs> about this. And so each of hers are labeled and it's a yarn ball that would be number four right how creative is that I mean seriously that would be for number six okay this is the first time I'm looking at these 
blown away. I mean, this is adorable. Okay, I love this. I am, I want to pull them all out just so I can look at them. There's number 11. <laughs> I won't pull them all out, but um, I'm assuming that this is for number 25. Okay, but inside of this, not only did I get personal delivery, which does it really compare with a card? Because I got to enjoy some coffee and have some lovely conversation and personal delivery, okay? Um, but inside, sorry about the shaking, is this project bag. Can you guys see that? Is it upside down? I'm so sorry. So it's Outlander themed project bag. I am so excited about this. I mean, talk about an extra little bonus in addition to the fact that she did this with a pretty significant injury. And I'm just beyond impressed that it was accomplished and she did it and she did it because of this community and her family and what else can you say except thank you. Thank you so much for actually taking it serious. I mean, I am, I'm in awe, right? I'm just in awe that she got it accomplished. And so thank you. Thank you for being a part of an amazing fiber community. Thank you for pulling together. Thank you for always being so supportive of each other and me and everybody in our groups. And it's just phenomenal to know that there are people out there that really do care. And I have come across so many of them in this community of fiber. I want to say freaks. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be called a fiber freak, but I mean, this fight, these fiber friends and they're everywhere. They're across the ocean and they're on other continents. And I mean, it's just been amazing. And so thank you. Thank you so much. Um, let me go through. It is the, so back on track, inner yarns in, I did choose the Outlander inspired, um, advent. I am planning on watching Outlander starting at season one and I'm going to watch it through December because I am making a project with this one. So that'll be two advent projects. I plan on knitting on each day. Um, the pattern I am planning on making with this one um, is called the Radvent Throw. And it is by Amba O'Brien. I'm gonna include some pictures. I'll put her name up on the screen. I really, this project may change. It may change before December 1st. If I start knitting on it December 1st, that's what it's gonna be. But between now and then, I may find something different because I'm pretty confident in this, this yarn dyer's ability to dye yarn. And if these cover, colors are inspired by Outlander. I want to make something that could be a, that could appear in an Outlander episode. So at this point, I am go, I'm planning on doing the Radvent throw. Um, it may change. I'm not for sure. I'm not a hundred percent. But yes, so super excited making sure I didn't miss any notes. Okay, so that's it. I've talked about each one. Um, I am planning on doing Vlogmas. My plan is to do it every day. I have done lots of reading and watching and I don't wanna get burnt out. I really enjoyed um, Vlogtober. I did that once a week. I may miss a day or two here, um, but I will record every day and show you and it just may be a video every two days, or it may be every day. Um, I'm not sure yet, but my goal is to do it every day. And, um, but I'm not gonna overcommit myself. So 
If you guys have any questions or any suggestions on patterns, by all means, throw them my way. The quickest way to get those to me would be via my email, um, which is tanya at karmasastitch.com because I will, I check my email constantly. Um, so yeah, that's it. I have one more advent coming for Alex and I will try to put that up at the end because right now I'm going to go work on my Christmas advent display. See you guys in December. which means tomorrow is December 1st. And if you recall, I said I was waiting on one more advent. And that advent, advent calendar. Advent calendar. And that calendar was delivered last night, Monday evening. Um, and I have a special guest here to talk about the fifth and final advent. For calendar. The advent calendar for this year's Vlogmas. I'd like to introduce you. To Alex. <laughs> Hi, this is my advent calendar that my mommy got me. You can look at the inside, and this there's toys inside. So tomorrow, I'm gonna open this one. It's the tag, and I hope you enjoy this video. And if you want to see how it closes, you look down here. Well, which one are you going to open after tomorrow? What are all those different pictures on there? Back. Yeah. What are those for? Why are there numbers on there? To know which number you were on. Yes. And which month? Well, it's for the month of December. Hi. Why is this here? It's for traveling. We're going to open that. So why are we celebrating the month of December? Why are we celebrating the month of December? Because it's Jesus' birthday, so we celebrate it because that's a very special day. And because it's a very special day, God is very special to us, so we celebrate it on Christmas. Be and if you all know, that is God's birthday. And um, this is, and on Christmas, I'm going to see Uncle Ted and uh, Aunt Natalie and Mecca and Bruce. Bruce is a dog. What kind of dog is he? An English bulldog. And Bruce is English bulldog. And Uncle Ted always wanted one, so... Aunt Natalie bought one for him, and my dad told me, and I was so excited. I thought it was going to be a different dog that I would probably like, and I thought it was for me, but then when I saw it, 
I thought it was actually for me, but not him. Because I never thought think of other people as their hearts and their feelings. But you're but, working on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you think about others. I got your report card today, and it said that you are a positive leader, and you're a good helper, and you're kind to your friends. Okay? Yeah, I help other people by showing that I'm kind and respectful, and that I help other people. I tell Cora to stop chasing me with worms because I do not like worms. And we got her a little bucket filled with the fun glittery slime. Fun glittery slime that's filled with not alive worms. No. Thankfully, or I would scream. So who else has a birthday in December? Me. <laughs> <laughs> I do, if you always want to know. So what are we going to do with this every single day, this Advent calendar? I'm opening each day to know which toy I get. Yes. In my mom's is obviously all yarn. Mom's is all yarn. <laughs> oh, and if you have a funner calendar, post it on the video so I can see it. Okay, yeah. because I love funner things, even toys. I love everything that is fun. You love fun stuff, huh? Yeah, and the girl who wanted me to go to their house and see their cats, I love them, and thank you. <laughs> you, you, you're talking about Mama's friend that has cats, and she wanted to invite you over to see her cats, huh? Yeah. You, you like? Oh yeah. Okay. All right. It's my special day. Oh, you're singing. Do you have a favorite Christmas song? Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. How lovely are your branches. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. How lovely are your branches. Oh. Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, how lovely are your branches. That was lovely. I didn't know we were going to get a performance. Okay. All right, you guys. So our vlogmas is going to consist of mom opening yarn and Alex opening her toy advent calendar. You can go put that right where you think it belongs on that advent table. We do have a Christmas performance at Alex's school. We go and look at Christmas lights. Um, yeah, and we're gonna sing, and we're gonna sing Christmas songs. And I'm the and I'm the reindeer that says, "Hear me sing, la 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 la." Okay. <laughs> That's my part. I cannot wait for this performance. And somebody says, time to eat the pie. Oh, time to eat the pie. Okay, so you guys, so this will be our vlogmas. Yeah. It's going to be very family oriented. And the pie is Max. Oh. Um, it's going to be very family oriented, very crafting, knitting um, oriented. I am, I did talk about the patterns I plan on doing with my two advent calendars. I'm pretty confident I'm going to change one of them. I'm not sure which. I've decided I do want to do one of them. I want to do both of them. But I want to do a crochet project with one of them. So if you have any great crochet projects that would do, that would work with an advent, please list it in the comments below. Um, I'd be really curious. I am going to make a decision by the end of the day on the first because that'll be, but that'll be the last thing I knit on at the end of the day on the first because I really do want to do a knit one as well as a crochet one. Um, I think that would just be a really well-rounded vlogmas for me. Um, okay, you guys, I think that's going to wrap up my intro. Um, if you're a subscriber here, thank you so much. And if you enjoyed this uh, intro video and you think you might enjoy the 
next 25 days with us, please hit the like and subscribe button down below so you'll get notified when we post videos. Um, <clears throat> a few of the Vlogmases that I am looking forward to that I know I will be watching um, will be Alex um, from my Yarny Corner. I thoroughly enjoyed her Vlogtober and I have no doubt that Vlogmas is going to be just as enjoyable. Um, Davina with Little Workroom Crafts is another one. Her personality truly is like a ray of sunshine no matter what time of day you decide to turn her on. I will also be watching Caroline and Andrew with Aria Barks podcast, as well as Leslie with Not Enough Yarn, and Martin with Knit365. I will put links to all of these podcasters below. I know that there's going to be other channels that I subscribe to that um, I, I, I just don't know that they're doing Vlogmas yet. I'll find out tomorrow on the first. But these are the folks that I know are doing Vlogmas. Some of them are planning on doing it daily. Um, others will be every couple of days. Others will be maybe once a week when they have a video at time. They have life. They have stuff going on in their worlds. And whenever they have the time, they're going to put a video up. And I know that I'm going to thoroughly enjoy them. So if you're looking for something else to do as you wrap up some of your holiday knitting or crocheting or cross stitch, um, go ahead and check these folks out. I think that's it for now, you guys. I'm so excited to see everybody tomorrow and to celebrate the next 25 days with you guys. All right. See you in the morning. Bye.